All right, guys, who's uh, who's ready for the next talk? Um, this is going to be a real treat. Uh, Soda and I actually go way, way back to when we were both like Polkadot ambassadors together. And this is like two, three years ago at this point. This is before Polkadot was even launched. Um, so it's great that we get to hear from him. And we don't get to hear from him just about anything. We get to hear to him about you know use cases with um, parachains, which he's probably been thinking about for longer than most people have even heard about Polkadot. So it's going to be really fantastic and really fantastic that we're hearing about him from this. So, you know, I'm just going to stop talking and I'm going to hand it off to him. Soda, please take the floor and uh, take it from here. Yeah, thank you, Zesi. And thank you for Web3 Foundation and Parity Technologies for hosting and arranging this the wonderful meetup and the biggest meetup in the Polkadot ecosystem. So my name is Sota Watanabe. I'm founder of Stake Technologies. Stake Technology is the company behind the Plaza Network and also Shiden Network. So we are going to launch two networks. So Shiden Network is going to be Xama Parachain, and the Plasma Network is going to be a Polkadot Parachain. And today I'm going to talk about first cross-chain use cases on Rococo. So Rococo is the Polkadot testnet, and the it's learning. So basically the the testnet for all parachain. Yeah. Um, before I start, I would like to talk about a little bit about Plasma Network and Shaden Network. So Plasma Network is uh, the premier multi-chain smart contract hub supporting DeFi, NFT, and decentralized autonomous organization. So we have started our we have started making Plasma Network for more than yeah um, two years. So back in 2019. And we have the LockDrop. So LockDrop is the one with the best way to distribute token for the community. And for, for more than uh, more than 150k is uh, locked on. It has the own logic. So parachain can be IoT chain, DeFi chain, like smart contract chain, and so on. Um, Polkadot Relay Chain, the heart of the Polkadot, does not support smart contract functionality by design. So all the people in this ecosystem need at least one parachain that supports smart contract. So this is where Plasma Networks comes in. And we are also making the bridges between ECH and delivering a grant uh, to different things. And we have already de delivered five grants so far. And second one is the we became the first Rococo parachain, Rococo version one, and we became the, the second Rococo version one parachain. Sorry, the first Rococo version zero parachain and the, the second Rococo version one parachain. So we have uh, enough experiences on Rococo right now. And also we are supporting both Ethereum virtual machine and also WebAssembly on Polkadot testnet. So you can deploy Solidity contract as well as Ink contract. And the, the difference between Plasma Network and other, the other parachain are uh, we are implementing the, the interaction between WebAssembly environments and also Ethereum virtual machine environment. So if you deploy a smart contract on Ethereum virtual machine environment, you can interact with the WebAssembly environments. Yeah, uh, also uh, we have completed the first ever cross-chain message passing with Akara. So interoperability has been a buzzword for more than two years or something like that but it became a reality from this moment. Yeah, uh, so we are supporting the both Ethereum virtual machine as well as WebAssembly. So we call it cross VN infrastructure on the top of Plasma Network. You can um, PLM token as a basic income. So if you are developing, so let's say you are developing on Ethereum, you have to pay gas. So in some sense, uh, you are going to lose money because you have to pay the gas. However, if you are developing on Plasma Network, you can um the PLM token from Brock yours. So Brock is mined, ideally forever. So 50% of Brock rewards goes to developer so that they, ha they can get Brock rewards and they have to pay the gas fee, but uh, Brock rewards should be much higher than the gas fee. So we are providing basic income. And we are also implementing layer two. Uh, I don't talk about layer two solution today, but uh, we have a, we are supporting Plasma, Rollup, and also State Channel. 
Yeah, uh, and we are going to launch Shida Network. Uh, Shida Network is a multi-chain DApp hub on Xama, and the Xama parachain auction is coming. So it's it's a really exciting moment for us, and we're gonna do our best to become one of the first Xama parachain. Yeah, uh, so let's talk about cross-chain use cases. And when I say cross-chain, uh, we have a uh, three important topic. The first one is the multi-chain bridges. So the parachain can be a bridge between Polkadot and another layer one blockchain, such as Ethereum, Cosmos, or Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, and so on. And the in our ecosystem, we we have already supporting uh, Ethereum bridge. Some of the Ethereum bridge, such as Chainsafe, Snowfork, and so on. And the uh, we have supported Cosmos. So I'm going to show you a demo regarding the Cosmos bridge. In addition to that, we are implementing the trustless Ethereum bridge by ourselves. And second area is cross-chain messaging passing. So this is the original feature of the Polkadot. So all parachain can interact with each other. And I'm, I'm going to show you how to interact with the Plasma Network and other parachain. Yeah, uh, uh, last one is the multi virtual machine. So there are a lot of virtual machines in the blockchain ecosystem, such as Ethereum virtual machine and the web assembly and also optimistic virtual machine and so on. And we are supporting Ethereum virtual machine, web assembly, and also OVM, optimis optimistic virtual machine. So yeah, uh, EVM is slow and web assembly is fast, but a lot of developer has already developed solidity contract on the top of Ethereum. So I think EVM is going to be really necessary in the short run. But uh, I believe the I believe that future is web assembly. So we are supporting both. Yeah. Uh, so what's Rococo? So Rococo is a testnet for parachain. And we have already connected our blockchain to Rococo. Uh, actually, more than 10 projects have connected their blockchain to Rococo, and they can interact with each other. And the, we have connected our blockchain to Rococo, and the Akara connected their blockchain to Rococo, so we can interact with each other. So Xama Parachain chain and the Polkadot Relay chain does not support the parachain yet. So Rococo is the testnet for the parachain, and we can interact with each other to make cross-chain use cases. All right, so I'm going to show you a demo. Cool. So what we are doing right now is I'm going to connect Plasma Network, the blockchain, by using Polkadot.js. And also, I'm connecting the Akara the blockchain by using Polkadot.js. So we are connecting two different blockchains right now. Right? Then the so Akara to make cross-chain messaging passings, we have to open a channel between parachain A to parachain B, in this case Plasma Network and Akara. And we have to run Corata on both blockchain. So Corata is a full node for the parachain. And the, yeah, Akara made the palette called cross token. So this is the standard for the cross chain messaging passing. So what we are doing right now is that we are going to send 42 PLM token to Akara by using cross token palette. Yeah, uh, let's sign the transaction and just send the transaction from PLM Plasma to Akara. So broker is mined. So you can see we send the PRM token right now. Yeah, since Plasma Network and Adakala are two different blockchain, we have to finalize our block on Plasm and we have to finalize block on Akala. And you can see PRM token here on Akala blockchain because we have already sent PRM token to Akala blockchain by using Akala's uh, cross token palette. So this is the demo of the first, the cross-chain messaging passing. So yeah, uh, it, it looks simple, but uh, this, it, this is a historical moment for us. So as, it, as we can see, if we connect our blockchain to Akara, uh, we can integrate Akara's USD stablecoin to our DeFi and NFT services. 
applications on platforms such as QuickSwap and Bondary. In the Oracle, we can export PLM token to Akala. So Akala is making a decentralized exchange on the Akala's blockchain. So on the top of Akala blockchain, uh, they can use PLM token. And the PLM token can be changed to, you know, AUSD or Laptop Bitcoin and so on. And the potential use cases can be a, a lending protocol on our Ethereum virtual machine and also WebAssembly. So AUSD can be used on both virtual machine on Plasma Network. And another exciting use case is Laptop Bitcoin, the called Polka BTC, uh, made by Interlay. So which is also a very great team in the ecosystem. So if we connect Interlay blockchain to Plasma Network, we can import Polka BTC to Plasma Network. Since Plasma Network is supporting layer two protocol, so we can make Polka BTC instant payment on Plasm. So if it is on Bitcoin, we can wait six block, right? Which is 60 minutes, one hour. So no one, no one can wait one hour <laughs> to finalize a transaction, right? But we have a layer two solution. So if we import Laptop BTC on Plasma Network, so we can use Laptop BTC on layer two so that we can make the instant Bitcoin payment. So this is also one of the, the my favorite use case. Yeah, uh, and also um, we can integrate BTC, the laptop of BTC um, into uh, Plasma Network applications, such as lending, synthetic asset, and so on. The last one is the transaction cost. So generally speaking, the transaction cost should be paid in PLM token, which is an, our native token. But in the future, you can pay our transaction fee by using laptop Bitcoin or laptop Ethereum and so on. So you don't need to own PLM token to use Plasma Network. So another thing is Ethereum. So we are making the Ethereum bridge, the bridge between Polkadot and Ethereum through Plasma Network right now. So today you can use Metamask, Truffle, Remix, and so on to deploy smart contract both on Ethereum and also Plasma Network. And once we make a bridge, we can import ERC20 token, ERC721 token, which is NFT on Plasma Network. Yeah, last one is the DK rollup. Uh, Ethereum does not scale at this moment. So Ethereum is going to be all in on their two solutions, especially rollup, optimistic rollup as well as ZK rollup. So we are supporting ZK rollup right now. So you can use exactly the same ZK rollup contract on Plasma Network. Yeah, uh, the last one is the Cosmos. So we are making the Cosmos bridge. So Secret Network can be interact with Plasma Network. And the, we can use Cosmos asset on Plasma Network. And I'm gonna show you uh, the final demo. Yep. So what we are doing here is we are uh, implementing EVM and EVM bridge. And this UI is provided by Secret Network team. And Secret Network is built on Cosmos. So we are sending PLM token to Secret Network by using their UI. So the important things is the, the light, light one. So PLM on the PLM wallet, uh, we have a 0 0.989177 token, PLM token. And we are going to send this token, the sum of this token from Plasma Network to Secret Network. And the, as you can see the, the light side, um, so this is EVM and the EVM bridge. So you can use MetaMask, both on Plasma Network and the Secret Network. This is the, the great stuff great things for the developer in terms of UI and the UX. Yeah, uh, it takes time because we have to finalize the transaction both on the Plasma Network and the Secret Network. And once it is finalized, the number, number of the PLM token is going to be decreased from 0 0.987877 to 
zero point nine eight. Blah blah blah. Yeah, it's it's going to be decreased once the transaction is finalized. Yep. Uh, so transaction is finalized. So the the amount became the smaller right now. So uh, currently, uh, Plasma Network is not fully deployed yet. So once we deploy the Shiny Network, which is our Canary Network. Uh, we are going to make the ECM trustless bridge and also Cosmos bridge on the mainnet. Cool. Um, in summary, so interoperability is not buzzword anymore. So uh, the future is going to be a multi-chain, and we can interact with other parachain as well as other layer one blockchain. So this is the future of the blockchain development. And another one is the uh, let's make Web3 together with us. So we are still very early stage, and the Polkadot is just launched. So Web3 is going to be a long journey. So let's make Web3 together with us. Uh, last one is the, the more option, the more option, the better for the ecosystem and developer. So currently, there are a lot of parachains, um, you know, and also there are a lot of ECM compatible parachain, but uh, the more options, the more the better for the developer. And also, we are supporting the body of um, the, the choices for developers. Like, like, they can develop their smart contract on Ethereum virtual machine, as well as on WebAssembly, and so on. Yeah. Uh, so lastly, a summer parachain auction is coming. So yeah, this is really exciting. And this, this, this is going to be a big party for us. So yeah. Uh, that's it. Thank you for listening, Andy. I'm really excited to make the Web3 together. Yeah, thank you for having me today. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much. That was a fantastic talk. And we know you've been building for so long, so that's such a treat to have. Yeah. Um, so we do, have some few, <laughs> we do have some few questions, by the way. So um, Anael, um, she asked, how fast are the bridge to layer two transactions on Plasma? Uh, would latency be an issue when trading on these bridged assets? Yeah, um, so the scaling solution on Ethereum and the scaling solution on Polkadot are two different things, right? So Polkadot is also a scaling solution, which is the you know, horizontal scaling solution. And we are implementing vertical scaling solution. So Polkadot is the already scalable, so I think TPS is around 2000 or something like that. So we do not need the TPS. So why we are implementing layer two? The reason is, so the layer two solution is not only for TPS. It's also for fast finality and the privacy and security. And the Ethereum, in the Ethereum community, they are going to all in on rollup, right? So we are going to support the rollup on Polkadot as well. And in terms of the speed, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, definitely faster than ECDM right now. That's fair. Uh, OK, so we've got time for one more question. And this is kind of a more yep. personal one. Um, you've been building on Substrate for, I don't know, how long? Um, what are some like key Two takeaways? Three, yes. some... Yeah, <laughs> which is a very long time. Yeah. Uh, what are some key takeaways you've learned and like developing from it and any wisdom you can impart to you know, new substrate developers getting into, uh, getting into. Yeah, it. yeah. Uh, I think that substrate is the best, you know, platform to build layer one application, because the substrate changed the way how to make blockchain and application. So before the substrate, we have to adjust our idea to blockchains, because we cannot change blockchain itself, right? So we cannot change the 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 you know, finality, we cannot change the block production time, and we cannot change consensus algorithm without hard fork. But Substrate changed the way how to make a blockchain and the application. Because Substrate is the customizable, so we can change blockchain based on our idea. So this is the big, you know, the great, great innovation in the blockchain ecosystem. Is that, that's why uh, a lot of projects are using Substrate and they're going to make a parachain. And the another thing is, if, you know, if we can make the pallet or um, let's say, yeah, if we can make the pallet, we can use that pallet for the other parachain, right? 
So we have a networking effect. All parachain, are, even Polkadot relay chain, are based on the substrate. So we can use exactly the same contract or parrot, or let's say implementation for the other parachain. So network is going to be stronger and stronger. Yeah, I think that's a great that's part of the substrate. Oh, yeah, no, that's one of my favorite things about it, too. That's fantastic. Again, thank you so much for taking the time. It was a true pleasure. And um, everybody, if you can just stick around for the next talk, uh, it will be up in a few minutes. Thank you so much.